Now that you have your skull template completed, uh, you can start adding some decoration. We're gonna start by drawing some shapes for the eyes and where the impression for the nose would be. And then after that, you'll be free to decorate uh, your sugar skull inspired work uh, as you would like. Most of them are typically pretty symmetrical, so you can use some of the techniques from our symmetrical name work for this. Uh, also, think about if you want to have your skull commemorate someone. I'm going to commemorate my grandmother who has passed away, and I'm going to think about some of the things that she really liked to include on her skull. So I know that she loved the color blue, and she was a gardener, and she loved to bake. So I'm going to try to incorporate some of those colors and items in my decoration as I go through. So I'll start with the eyes and nose, and then I'll speed up as I'm working. And I might uh, describe a few things as I go, but I want to give you guys enough time to work. So I'm going to start out with pencil for today. Some ex here are some examples of sugar skull patterns. You're also welcome to do a Google search to get some inspiration. Just Google sugar skulls and you'll see some different patterns come up. As you start your work in pencil, remember draw light till you get it right. That's why we start out with pencil because you'll probably have to make some adjustments as you go along. When I'm drawing the eye sockets, I'm starting out with two circles. You might choose to do more of an oval shape. Uh, either one is fine. And then for the nasal cavity, I, I drew an upside down heart. And now I'm just drawing some lines for where my teeth would go. Thinking about my grandmother, I'm going to turn her eye sockets into flowers. You can do a simple pattern around the outside edge. Again, this part is up to you. Notice that I am doing the same thing on both sides because, again, I want my sugar skull inspired work to be mostly symmetrical. I'm incorporating some flowers and some leaves to denote some things that my grandmother loved, like gardening and being outside. I'm going to continue adding some patterns and decorations around the edges of my work to add a little bit more interest. Today, you only need to work in pencil. If you have time, you're welcome to start adding color. You're welcome to use any of your supplies for this work to add color. Remember that if you're using a combination of multiple, like markers and oil pastels, start with markers first because the oil pastels can dry your markers out. Again, no need to get this all the way colored in today because you will have plenty of time to work on coloring tomorrow.